Hi, can you, you guys can hear me? <laughs> Are we all good? Okay, cool. Awesome. <laughs> this might, <laughs> this might be very scuffed. How's the, how's the music? You are right? How's the music? I see the white background. Yeah, I see it. I see it. This is like, hello? Damn it. Ah, oh, I need to fix it. Oh, this is very scuffed already. Huh? Huh? No. Okay. Okay, wait. It's too loud? A little loud? Okay. Give me a sec. There we go. There we go. We can do that. We're good. Oh God, I just closed, I just closed everything. How's that? Is that good? Is that, is that better? Look, you can see like what I'm doing. Look, <laughs> there's you guys. There's, there's you guys, right? And then there's stuff here. And then, yeah. Okay. So, I, hopefully this works. We'll, we'll be dealing with like a lot of different things. Okay. Crotch cam. Okay. Maybe, maybe like we'll put like over there. All right. That's probably better. Okay. <laughs> We're all good. Um, I, keep in mind the lighting's going to be very weird. Like, like very weird. Cause like I have to do things. Oh God. Oh, it's already scuffed. It's already scuffed guys. GG. GG, it's gone. Oh God. Okay, cool. Hi. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Put a dark cloth over the table. I do not have a dark cloth, but here we have, we have this cloth. That's all I need. There we go. Right. Okay, cool. Okay. So we're losing daylight. So we got to do this fast. Okay. <laughs> We're doing, we're doing, we're losing daylight already. So what we got, I like literally, let me like just like tell you guys how much effort has gone into this. Um, I, I bought like a, a, a lav mic, right? This right here, right? So you can hear me. Um, and then um, that's what, that's what that thing is right, right there, right, right there. That's what this thing is. That's the lav mic. I brought my computer outside. That's, that's me. That's you guys. And then there's like the lights just for when it gets dark and then that's the cable setup. It's awful. Um, it's scuffed already. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm going to be, we're going to start over here, right? Like right this thing right here, we're going to start doing that. All right. Cause that is, uh, well, we're going to cook bismuth. <laughs> we're going to cook bismuth. So first things first is this thing, right? It's this thing and we got to get, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then we gotta get this, right? And you might be wondering, what are these things, right? That's what this is. Also, thank you guys so much for the subs. I can't see them right now, but appreciate it. So this is bismuth, right? Um, should I make, all right, should I make the lower, like this thing? Should I make it bigger, you think? I love you, Muchava, chat up. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Scuffed. Guys, do we need a scuffed counter? How's that? Is that better? <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so this, we're gonna start with this first because it takes a while, right? So this is bismuth, right? This is element 83, I think. And it is, um, let me, I, I, like, so what the format is going to be like this is like, I'm also very nervous because we're also, we're losing daylight and I gotta do this quick. But like, um, what I gotta like, I, I'm gonna try to teach you guys what's going on while we do this because it's a lot of fun, right? So this is bismuth. It's element 83. Um, it's a really, really heavy metal. It's heavier than gold, right? Because I think gold is 79. Um, and you can make really cool things with it, right? For example, I don't know if you can see the rainbow shine that this kind of dog bowl has, but we'll, we'll be making, we'll be making geodes um, and like crystals. Uh, so we'll start this now because we have to heat this up. Uh, to 522 degrees Fahrenheit, um, mainly because, and it, which that's really interesting too, because like 
522 degrees Fahrenheit for metal is super low. Like to, to put it in perspective, like aluminum is like 2000. It's insane. Oh my God, we got a hype train. Jesus Christ. All right, guys, I can't see all the, the bits and everything. Thank you so much for all it. Thank you. Um, so we have to start a fire. Um, that's what that's for right over here. That right here. Right, that's that's what you can also see like behind the scenes isn't yeah that's cool all right but like you can see like down over here is where we're going to start cooking so let's like let's move over there hopefully we can like do this don't ask about the debris all right this it's just a thing that exists um let me like scuff this right so you can see it more while i work on it right is that is that good that's probably a little bit better. I can't see chat right now, I unless it. I turn my monitor. Give me the extra okay, now I can see chat. Okay, cool. All right, we're all good. Um, so I don't need these yet, um, but I will need them later. So let's, uh, let's start a fire in my backyard. Give me the extra <laughs> okay, um, so. So I got firewood from my local Ace Hardware. Um, and is this like, is this like decent? Like maybe camera angle like needs to be back farther a little bit. I need it. All right, I'll feel, we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay. So I need to start a fire real quick and get this to 512. Um, so it actually like, cause we need to heat it up quick. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here. Oh, I can't reach it that much, that much farther. Look, there's the fire that we're making. Ta-da! You gotta do like the whole pyramid, you know? You gotta do the pyramid to, to make it go. Give me the extra inch, chat. Ooh, and then I gotta get some like, gotta break some of the stuff up too for uh, to make it smaller so we can actually catch. Hey guys, thank you so much for all the bits and donos and stuff. I can't read them right now, I'll read them later when we're waiting, but I gotta get this out fast. That's why I wanna start because we're losing daylight. Okay. I need it. <laughs> smart crow, dumb crow. I'm dumb crow. There's no smart crow here. It's just dumb crow. <laughs> Give us Steven. I asked him, uh, I asked one of my roommates if he wanted to help. And he said, he said maybe. So uh, if I need an assistant, he'll come out here. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So let's go. Let's, um, I need to get some like more. I think I have some like more kindling, like like small stuff over here. All right, got some like old cardboard that might go up in flames, which is nice. So fingers crossed this works, right? The crunch is real. Ooh, okay. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this. Um, how is the how's the audio? I'm kind of worried about the audio because I, I played around with it like like an hour, and I don't know if it was like too much or too little. How's, how's the audio in general? Great. Okay. Audio on point. Hell yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I just want to put some of like this here. Hopefully this is good. There's some bigger pieces that I can do later if we need. Okay. Let's move all the firewood away from the fire for safety reasons. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, so here we go. Match first. Can you guys see this well? I think so, probably. All right, let's see. All right, that should start it. Come on, get under the flame, get under the fire. I want, I want you to get under the wood. That would be preferable. I want the wood to catch. This really shitty, uh, 
<laughs> we got fire. <laughs> this barbarian actually did things. All right, come on, get into the wood. All right, that should do it. All right, cool. This is the this is the fire I started. I did that, guys. I did that. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the wood actually catches. That's the that's the main problem. Is like if the wood catches, and we got we got to get this up to 522 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Currently, well, the wood hasn't caught, so that's bad. <laughs> All right. So I was going to do something with like a hot plate, but all of them were like $300. And so I'm like, I'll just set fire to like things here, you know, like, like one does, like one does. So why are we cooking bismuth to make bismuth crystals, right? So we're making bismuth crystals, which are like the coolest metal crystals you've ever seen. If you've ever seen like metal crystals, they're actually like really neat. <laughs> um, and they're, they're rainbowy and all this stuff. It's great. <laughs> Cause why not? You know? Um, and we have to start this now because it takes like a good hour or two for it to actually like melt and then like we have to cool it very slowly so it actually gets into the crystal structure we want it to. Um, right, so the wood did ca uh, catch, which is nice. I'll take that. We got to Ooh, hello. The wood caught and it's burning a lot. <laughs> Perfect. That's what we want. Come on. Go over here. I want like a nice base. All right, so we're still like, I gotta do this real quick and then we'll, we'll move on. Cause I, we have some really cool stuff planned guys. Like I got, um, if you guys know, um, you know, but if you don't, I have pure sodium right over here, like right over there. Um, and I have a bucket of water. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing that. Hey girl, you on fire? Cause you hot. Thanks Maddie, appreciate you. get like one more oh it's gone hello be safe kids don't do this at home even though i'm doing it at home <laughs> all right that should be good for now hello come on go down cool okay <sighs> let me put on gloves because this is about to get hot One sec. All right, I got some gloves here. These are thermal gloves, right? The thermal gloves. So these heat, uh, uh, these protect you up to 900 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. It's nice. Um, I wish everything was in Celsius, but what can you do? You know. <sighs> we'll put it right, right on here. It's very heavy, actually. It's about five pounds of pure bismuth right here we might have to get it hotter but we'll uh i'll keep my eye on the on the fire for now you know what's it in kelvin though um if you take i think it's 522 uh fahrenheit is like 800 something kelvin or 800 something celsius so add 273 to that and that's what you get for kelvin so there you go so that's that's what we have to do <laughs> maths bam um so hopefully, you know, that heats up. If it doesn't, then um, we're screwed, but we got to keep that at 525 degrees Fahrenheit. Science, bitch. Um, yes, it's very hot from where I'm standing. So chat. we'll figure that out. Colonel Dine stream, please. It's good against, it's against tips, terms and conditions. Don't worry. Um, I, I, I study this <laughs> in college, so it's like, we're good. I have safety here. I have a lot of safety, so don't worry about that. Um, that's what the gloves are for, um, for dealing with this. And then I got goggles for some other experiments. So we'll keep that um, heating um, and we'll move on real quick. Cool. Awesome. Let's move it over here. Hopefully I don't give you guys like all vertigo or something, you know? Scuffed part four. 
scuffed. I don't have any automatic string transitions, so we're just doing this. <laughs> we're just doing this. Okay, cool. Ooh, that is hot. Jeez. All right, that's that's actually really good then. We got we got like a. Oh, and there's ash blowing towards my computer. Nice. <laughs> yes, let's go. That's exactly what we want. Um, maybe I need to move that a little bit farther than my computer. That might. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> there's ash blowing. Mm, okay. All right. Put on the gloves again. Going back to the fire. Did I not tell you guys that this is scuffed chemistry? Ugh. It's actually like really hot right now, so. good that seems to be good no more ash uh, the reason why there was ash was because of the uh, um, was because of the cardboard the uh, really old cardboard it was uh, blowing up there we go okay cool we're all good how does it look how does the quality of the stream look okay I, I want the quality to be at least okay you know Cool. <laughs> Science rules. Okay, it's actually really hot too, so I'm gonna probably take this off. <laughs> Ugh. I'm wearing a long sleeve under this. It's literally like the, the, the fire that we just started is like blowing this way. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna be fine for tonight. Okay, cool. So yeah, so I think this is, okay. So I'm gonna start with something really cool called nitinol. It's right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that right there. So this is, fun fact, before I actually do this, um, I will be doing, like, the, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because of, uh, um, um, one of the reasons I'm doing this is because, like, <laughs> this is sort of for my, uh, one of my projects at school, right? So my professor was like, I, I'm in a writing class, or like, it's, it's a required, like, writing class. And so I'm like, all right, like, they're like, do some sort of contemporary, you know, analysis of article and so everyone's doing like blog posts or whatever i'm like i'm gonna do a youtube video <laughs> and then post it on my channel <laughs> so um yeah so this is the portion of where i have to teach you guys something so um i'm, I'm literally using you guys for my <laughs> my university work yeah so this is uh something i have to teach you right so this is nitinol right so nitinol is nickel titanate uh the null so nickel n-i-t-i the nickel titanate um, and then the null part comes from the uh, laboratory that actually uh, discovered night null. What's really cool is that this is a memory uh, shaping alloy. So if it remembers what you, uh, it remembers where you bend it. Let me, let me put some more wood on the fire real quick. Cause it's dying down a little bit. Let me bring you guys over. There we go. Cool. That is not at all hot. Damn, all right, we gotta put a lot on here. This is gonna be a miniature bonfire for the time being. I want to burn high as well. Here we go. Come on, come on. All right, we're doing we're doing well, guys. We're doing well. Uh, this might not 
This might be a thing that might not happen tonight, but I really want to make it happen because it's really cool. So if it doesn't happen tonight, we're gonna have to do a part two of this, you know? There we go. We'll put a little bit more wood on. We'll make like a, make this thing burn hot. All right, that should be good actually. Oh yeah, the wood's right up there. Cool, 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 cool. If not, I might have to put this like in the fire and I don't want to do that because the uh, it'll oxidize really fast if I do that. I don't want it to oxidize because then uh, the crystals won't form. So we're all good. Things are going well, right? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, cool. Um, so yes, let's continue on with night and all. Um, so night and all is, um, night and all is this right here. Um, it's a wire. I actually haven't opened this yet. Um, and don't worry, it is safe to touch. It's just metal. It's metal wire. It looks like a regular metal wire. You see, right? But this is a mem like this remembers its shape that it's in. Uh, it remembers the shape that it's in, which is really cool <laughs> in my opinion. Let me actually, let me move this. Every five minutes, we're going to be checking on this fire, seriously. Pull it to the side, because that's where the fire's burning. Cool, okay, awesome. So, yeah, so uh, this is a memory shape alloy. And uh, for example, if you put it into a uh, paper clip, then what it can do is that um, you can, you can, all right, so I'll, I'll you know, it's, it's easier to show you guys just by doing. Let me get some snip snips. So I can actually like, oh, that's hydrogen peroxide. All right. Um, uh, so I can actually show you guys better here. Scuffed chemistry, ho. Wow, it's really not breaking. Please break. Well, nickel titanate is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Oh, I mean, that makes sense, but gardening shears do not work on this thing. Ah, yep, yeah, it's just, yeah, okay, cool. Anyways, like I was saying before, what we're gonna do is, uh, um, <laughs> we're gonna put it under warm water, uh, which I have right here, decently warm water. I might have to get it hotter. Um, and we're gonna shape it into something. What should I, what should I make it, what shape should I have it? You water cutters? I do not have water cutters. What shape should I make this thing? No, no, Hannah. No, that's a bad idea. <laughs> a heart? You see, <laughs> some of you guys have a better brain than others. We'll make it into a heart. Okay, we'll make it into a heart. Okay. Let me put you guys, let's put the fire right over Look, look how that, that is burning bright. A little bit too high for non-safety. Whatever, it's fucking god damn it. I need to move it back. Ah. <sighs> we haven't. Well, how long has it been, and we haven't done anything besides start a fire? Ooh, that's hot. That's getting hot. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. all right. That is that is definitely 900 Fahrenheit right there. All right, it's melting, guys. Yes, it's melting. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's toasty. I, the reason why I knew is because I, I felt I started feeling it through my gloves. So that's why. That's nice. We're doing. It's doing. It's doing well, guys. It's doing well, right? <laughs> Um, okay, cool. Hello? Stop. Stop spitting. Stop spitting fire. Stop. Okay. Um, so night and all. So what we're going to do, so let me show you guys really quick right here. All right. So I'm going to take this night and all, put it in warm water. That's not warm at all. Okay. You know what? Okay. <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna get hotter water, all right? Give me, give me a, a, a sec. Scuffed part five. Okay, cool. We're back. Everything's back. We're all good. Okay. So now I have the nickel titanol. So we're going to shape it really fast. So oh, you guys, oh, fuck it. That's hot. Here, let me show you guys really fast. So here's, here's the nickel titanol. We're going to bend it all up, right? So we're just going to make it a huge hot mess. It's gonna like completely bend it, right? You see that? And then we're gonna put it into water. And it just bends back. Isn't that cool? So let's do it again, right? Let's do it again. So we're gonna take it we're gonna take this nickel titanol yet again, um, like this, okay? Ah, uh, just bend it a whole bunch. Just uh, try to tie it a little bit too. It's very hard, so it's hard to do this. Yeah, so look at that. So the nickel titanol is in a definite rut like that, right? Move alerts, okay, thank you, appreciate that. Alert box. Put it over here. Can someone do an alert so I can see where it moved to? This is scuffed. Can someone just like, I don't know, like, so, like, uh, <laughs> this is scuffed. Uh, hosts aren't an alert. Sorry. <laughs> this is. <laughs> wait, I can, I can, like, I can replay one. Really? Wait, wait. No one do anything. Uh, let me do like. Give me the extra. Um, oh, that works. Thanks, thanks, Ben. Appreciate that. All right, I'll put it over here. All right, cool. Scuffed part six. Scuffed part six. Okay, I gotta heat up the bismuth again. Pre appreciate that. Thanks for the sub to test. I hate you guys, all of you. <laughs> all right, let me put a log on. Give me it's the time. extra inch chat. I need it. Okay, here we go. Can you, you guys can see me, cool, cool, cool. Awesome, so I'm gonna move this the side, the log right here. Hopefully that burns hotter and keeps the heat on the uh, bismuth. Right there. Two. One there. Woo! Okay, cool. Back. Okay. Now let's go back to the night and all. So as you can see, right, you can see it's all curled up like that. So if we put it into warm water, it unbends. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so the reason it does this is because, um, the way the like it's a phase transformation sort of thing. Um, basically, it has like a, um, a a curve, like a hysteresis or hysteresis, um, where it's like um, it, tra it, cha it has like the the phase transition like right at a certain point, and it's really cool because like it it forms defects like a, a deformation. It's a it's a twin boundary uh, uh, deformation with its grains, but like it doesn't actually break bonds when it does it so it actually remembers when you uh when you heat it back up 
right? So you can you can do this on like a hot plate. It's just easier to do it with warm water, you know? So um, let's do it like a couple more times because it's really cool. And then we can move on. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll explain it more in a second, but like, guys, this is, this is really cool. You can like, you can do this in your own, like this is something you can do yourselves. Uh, it's really cheap to get, it's like $10. Uh, and you can do a lot of really cool things like with naked titanol. Um, you can uh, honestly just rebuild things that were broken before. Um, like it's used for like structural support, it's used for biomedical applications. Um, it's really cool. I'm trying to actually tie it in a knot to see if it actually works. Um, so there you go. How do you cut it? With wire cutters. I just don't have wire cutters. I have garden shears. That's why I couldn't cut it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so here we go. Now we have it in a knot. Like legitimately a knot. I've tied it in a knot, right? So now let's put it back in and see what it does. You know? Here we go. Huh? 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 Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. All right. The, it looks like the uh, temperature's cooled down quite a bit. So. It's like alive, isn't that cool? So this is, uh, it's nickel titanate. Um, what else do I need to tell you guys about this? What do you, I mean, what do you guys wanna know? Um, it's super neat, it's super cool, and there's a lot of really cool applications for it. Um, I don't know. Um, I, 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 <laughs> like, I don't know what else to, like, um, it's just really cool because it changes phases, like right as, what can be used for, I mean, structural support. For example, like if it start, if something starts to bend, right? Like if, if if you have like this bridge, right, and something starts to bend, right, like that, in you can just heat it up and it goes back, right. So it's like so there there might be some like applications in like you know like let's say you you crumple your car, right. Let's let's say you uh, get into like a fender bender. You can just heat up your car and it goes back to normal, right? Isn't that, this is so cool? Um, so it literally untangles itself. I will do it like one more time. So let's do like a spiral. See how that looks. How do you make it uh, stay a different shape? You have to, um, so right now it's, it's just straight line. To make it stay a different shape, you have to form it under the heat. All right, so here's a, here's a little spiral put in here. <laughs> and it's, it's back. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cool. So if you wanna, like, it was, it was too hot before, but if I wanna shape it, like I have to do it in, in the heat like this. Right, so if I want to make it like a pseudo paperclip or something, like make it look like a paperclip, then I gotta like do it in the water, you bend it in the water, right? So it remembers its shape like this. Uh, basically, it's it's like um, if you guys know Curie temperatures, it's not a Curie temperature for the metal, but it's something similar where you, it retains its shape. It goes back to its like solid uh, form. Here we go. Love the PPE you aren't even using. I don't need to use PPE for this. The SDS is a uh, pretty pretty standard on that. So you see like I've moved it into like the semi paperclip sort of thing, right? And so if I put it back in the water, it doesn't it doesn't move. It, it's just like it's the same thing, you know? Um, so if we bend it now, like yet again, we bend it outside of the water um, into some weird shape, and then put it back in. It's only go back to that paperclip sort of form, if it can. Oh well, shit. It was close enough, guys. That's like that's like a paperclip, right? <laughs> it's the same thing as a paperclip. <laughs> I don't think the water's hot enough. It needs to be. Um, I bought this uh, so it is at 40 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 10 degrees. So it's probably a little bit below that, or right at it. <sighs> cool. All right. Let's move it over here. Let's yet again. I don't know if we can like do this. It's going. This one's going to be difficult. Shit. There's no bismuth's not heating up. Like like enough. I might just put it inside honestly. It's going to get contaminated, but that's fine. Yeah, the fact that I can literally just stick my entire arm in there means it's pretty not, it's pretty dead. Please burn 
Very hot. Thank you. Would appreciate that very, very much. And like, I can make it burn hot if I put just like all the cardboard I have here, but that's only like a, a small sustained thing. I want it to be like a long, over a long period of time, it's a giant fire. So that's the goal right here, to make it do that. So that's, uh, that's why we're, we're continuously checking on this thing. And so the bismuth can, doesn't, you know, cool down at this rate because it's cooling down way too fast. Come on. There we go. <sighs> Whew, cool. All right, we're back. What about lighter fluid? I do not have lighter fluid and I do not want to use that. <laughs> we're exploding things, but not in that way today. So there we go. Okay, cool. So you guys want to explode some things? So we got, we can start it right here. We have water, right? You know, like we have water here. Um, I do have, um, I don't know if we, we send it, but um, this right here is 30 grams of pure sodium. Um, if you guys know what pure sodium is, um, it's highly, it's, um, let me say even more so, it's violently reactive with water. Um, <laughs> it's high, like it's, it's, yeah. I've opened this somewhat and it's all covered in oil, right? So no water can get inside. Um, so um, we're gonna be very careful, okay? We're gonna actually be very careful um, and uh, do this. We're gonna put not all 30 grams, see if we can like snip up a little bit. We're gonna put it in water and see what happens, right? Um, so when we do this, you gotta be very careful, obviously. So we're gonna, we're gonna be doing some hot shit here. I need it. <laughs> so let me let me uh, protect my clothes really quick, just in case. So does oil protect it from oxygen? Not, also, not only water. Yes, we don't want it to oxidize as well. We we want it to have. I don't know if you can hear that, but fire's a. That's that's what I like to see right there. Right, fingers crossed that keeps up. Cool. Okay. Here we go. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'll just use my thermal gloves because uh, it won't actually matter too much. These are protective enough. Let's tuck these. And let me do this. Safety first, guys. Safety's cool, all right? Safety's cool. Well, wear, wear your helmet, kids. Okay. Let me see if I can, like. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, right here, let me put the, uh, let's do this really fast. Cool. All right, so right here is sodium, pure sodium. Very oily too. Here we go, let's see if I can actually do this. Yeah, this is unboxing video. Really hope you know what you're doing. I'm getting my degree in material science engineering, focusing in chemical engineering. Uh, we've done similar things in the past. Not explosive stuff, but I've been very much trained on safety. All right. Yeah, it's very, I don't know if you can see that right quick, like right there. It's very oily. Like it's, it's covered in oil. Yeah. Sodium metal, 30 grams. All right. So you're gonna wear the oily gloves near the fire? It's not that kind of oil. Yeah, you can see right there, that's the block. Still covered. Okay, we're good.
It's bags on bags. Just to make sure. Very protected. Can't even open this baggie, Jesus. It's like insanely, guy. I can't even like tell you guys how oily this is. Oh fuck, all right. <laughs> We're doing it, we're doing it guys. This is a thing that's happening. Yeah, they really don't want sodium dioxide. For obvious reasons, there's water in air. All right, let me like do this. I might just put the entire chunk in, honestly, because I don't have a way to cut it. Probably good. Okay, cool. All right, <laughs> we're all good here. Uh, let me put like another piece of firewood on the on the thing, and we're going to be good. Literally burning out my entire stock in like five minutes. Not the dream. Oh my god, it's melting. Guys, it's melting. Guys, it's melting. Holy shit, it's melting. Oh my god, guys, look, look, look. Oh my god. Oh, 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 it's melting. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, pause, pause everything. Pause everything. All right, we're not doing sodium yet. Look at this. We'll take it off for a second. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Ooh. Did you guys see it? <laughs> Did you guys see it? <laughs> that is bismuth soup. <laughs> that is bismuth soup. All right, I can't get that close to it for you guys. Because uh, it's really fucking... Uh, here, let me do this. Let me do this. You guys are going to be looking at the ground. Okay. You guys are going to look at the ground. I'm going to bring it over to you guys with two hands. All right. It's going to be very fucking hot. You see this? Yeah, you can see it moving. All right. That's bismuth. That's molten bismuth right there. Molten bismuth. I don't know if you can see the rainbow colors. It's really cool. I gotta put it back in a sec though. The gloves are a bit hot, so gotta, gotta cool it off real quick. <laughs> Slurp it up, oh God, no. <laughs> Why'd you melt it? We're melting it so we can cool it back at a nice uniform rate. So then we can make it into metal crystals cool it's back awesome so we can start cooling it down we actually probably just leave it there honestly and let the so what we're going to do here is we're going to leave it like we're going to leave the uh um the the bismuth um melting like that and then the fire is going to die down itself and that's going to treat as our small insulation period so it's going to we want it to um cool under insulation so it cools at a very very slow rate so that the atoms arrange in a very nice sort of uniform area, so it gets into a cuboid formation. Um, so that's what, that's what we're doing there, and once, once it starts to, uh, to melt down, then you can pick up the, um, the crystals out of the soup. Just literally just pick it up and slowly do it. Um, I have tongs right here to pick them out of the metal soup. You can literally take crystals and just pick them out. So that's what we're doing with the, the bismuth. So it is now melted, which is fantastic. Okay, it is now melted. So we're, we're making some bismuth crystals tonight, guys. We're making some bismuth crystals. All right, let's get back to sodium. <laughs> Pure sodium. Um, here we go. It is very hot. I'm sweating. So 
Here we go. So I'm so sorry that like I can't read all of your messages. I see I see all the reactions in chat. Okay, I see all the reactions in chat. I fucking love all of you. Um, but yeah. And also thank you so much for the subs and the donations. I see you guys. I see you guys. All right. Here we go. Pure sodium. Thirty grams. if it comes out of the baggie. Cool, awesome. All right, there's a little chunk right there. Little chunk, uh, we're gonna put the rest back in. Perfect, all right, came in two chunks. That's great, that's wonderful, that's what I wanted. All right, now get back and close baggie with no air inside so that this doesn't oxidize. Cool, can you guys see that at all? No, you can't, okay. Here we go. Here we go, this is pure Oh God, I'm ready. All right, this is pure sodium. All right, bismuth looking good. I have to scrape the slag out of it later. I'll, t I'll show you guys how to do that in a sec. Um, let's put it. Actually, you know what, let's do this. I'll move the camera over here like this. That's a little bit better, I guess. No, I want it to be over here, a little bit the other way. Oh, damn it. And I want this to move this way. Cool, okay. All right, the fire's starting to die down. That's good. Cool, all right. So I want to move. Oh, it's perfect, actually. That, that actually works really well. All right, so we'll keep it like this. Cool, all right, so put sodium baggie back into the other sodium baggie. We're all good. Cool. So this right here, right now, is pure metal sodium. And here, right here, is water. Sodium reacts ex like extremely violently with water. I don't know, ex I haven't done this myself yet. Um, I will probably be, once I plop it in, I'll probably be running, right? Um, so let me, uh, let me wipe off some of this oil really fast. Oh, you can see it. Oh my God. Yep. Okay. This is it. This is pure sodium in water. Uh, let's do a smaller amount, which is really fun, fun fact, fun fact. Sodium is extremely um, light, so you can bend it, right? Sodium uh, metal is very light. So you, um, look, I'm so strong, guys. Look, I'm so strong. I can bend metal. Let's, let's take a smaller chunk, if I can. Look at that. Let's start it with, you know what, let's do the small flake that dropped off. You guys can't hear this, but it's sizzling. <laughs> oh my god, okay, cool, 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 I'm so excited. Holy shit, we can actually probably cut it with garden shears. Uh, like bismuth. Bismuth is also a very light metal. Uh, or like uh, ductile metal. Oh, all right, here we go. Do a very small piece. So look, look, I'm literally cutting a metal like this. Look how easy that cuts. All right, here we go. And look how clean it is, too. Look, look right here. Look at that. Look at those grooves. Okay, cool. All right. Let's now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Science! <laughs> Oh my god. That's everywhere. Oh my lord. <laughs> there you go. It's pure pure sodium in the water. I, I'm, I'm glad I didn't put the entire chunk in right there. Be safe, guys. Be safe. 
Let me uh, let me turn the exposure up really quick because it's kind of dark. I'm pretty sure. Um, low call cam properties, configure. I'm not putting a, no. There's there's safety and there's stupidity, right? I'm not gonna be stupid. I'm not putting a bigger chunk than that. And then that was pretty. That was pretty good. It's like a firecracker. There you go. Cool. Is this is this like better lighting? Let me let me get a smaller chunk than that. We'll do it again. Oh, um, let me check on bismuth real quick. Okay, um, let's do some let's do some bismuth first, really fast, and uh, we'll be good. Okay. So, um, back to bismuth over here. Right. No, thanks for the bits, but we're not going. Like, there's safety. I'm not. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was probably too big to start with. <laughs> there's. There's a, yeah, safety is more important, guys. Okay, safe, like safety is a thing that is very, very, like, yeah, needed. So let me, um, uh, we got to do this quick because it's about to start melting. I need to get rid of the slag. Um, so slag is basically oxidized bismuth, and we do not want that. Oxidized bismuth is a, a very big no-no um, because we want bismuth to be, um, we want bismuth to be pure when we uh, melt it like this. Let me put it down so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, that's pretty good. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be taking this, the, the top off of the bismuth. Um, yeah, I'm going to be taking the top off of the bismuth. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Like this, scraping off the top of this metal. All right. Can you guys see that well? I hope you can. I'm not changing it. Yeah, we're taking the top off, right? And because this is all oxidized stuff that we do not want. It's not going to give us good, pretty crystals. It's going to just give us the molten other stuff, right? Other things like um, carbon stuff that came from the air, etc. We don't want it here. So I'm going to leave it on here, right? I'm going to. Uh, can you guys see that? Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. And if you can see, right, the bismuth is still soupy, but it's going to start hardening starting from the top. Once it starts hardening from the top, it's going to go down layer, 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 and it's going to start forming cubes. Um, I'll see if we can pick some out um, soon. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I might actually put like another piece of wood on there just to make sure it cools down slower than it is going to right now. So. I need it. Thanks so much for the bits. Appreciate that. I can't read the message right now. I appreciate that. Thanks. I'm a little far away. Okay. Oh, where th did the music stop? That's unfortunate. Give it a small sec. And this is the last of the wood, basically. I know you can't see it right now, but okay, cool. Yeah, no music. All right, I'll turn the music on. Okay, back to sodium. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> guys, is this fun or is this fun? Let me know. All right, cool. All right, it's back up. Okay. Cool. All right, back to. Wow, that is a. There's a lot of metals in my backyard. All right, Whew. sodium again. Smaller chunk this time, <laughs> or similar sized chunk. It was a loud expl. Like, you, did you guys hear the the explosion too? <laughs> did you guys hear the explosion? We did. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me cut this chunk. Right, let me not put it by the water. Let's cut that chunk into two. Let me actually like show you guys something. Let me put this flake. There's a flake right here. I wanna put it in. I wanna show you guys what it looks like. Um, oh, damn it. Let me do a really small amount, like very small amount and put you guys on top so you can see what it looks like when it's reacting. Yeah, there we go. Cool. There we go. So you see this right here? I have a little small chunk on the end of the pliers, so please, please go in. Oh, it's on the other side. E. 
be safe, kids. Safety first. I'm, I'm, try, I'm just trying to get the chunk right now. There it is. There it is. There she goes. Cool. Okay. So you see the chunk on the, on the end of the uh, pliers right there? All right, let's go. That's literally what it's doing right now. It's burning out that way. So that's what it does, right? But um, that's when it can react at a timely speed. It explodes when it can't. So that was small enough. The surface area was not as, oh fuck. <laughs> like, there was not as, as much um, sodium there. <laughs> All right, so let's do, a, let's do another big piece. But like, not as big. Fuck, this makes me so nervous. Right. Here we go. Shot. Here we go. <laughs> like the line cross effect, the way it was floating? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? All right, let's do this again. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys are ready. Are you guys ready? You guys don't seem ready. Can we move the other chunks? Oh, no, it's fine. Um, but I'll, that's probably a good idea, um, just in case. Here we go. Woo. Science. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's probably going to be it for that. <laughs> that was probably, yeah, yeah. Glad we moved the other spots. Put these over here, <laughs> just in case. And this one's in oil too, that's nice. Awesome. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Cool, awesome. Let me clean up really quick. Um, let me make sure I put the sodium back into oil, right? Because we're going to need to do that um, to make sure everything's okay, all right? So give me a hot sec. This is our little intermission, all right? While I uh, make sure everything's safe. Okay, cool. All right, we have now removed all the sodium away from the water, which is nice. All right, so it's in now a baggie full of oil. Um, perfect. Let me uh, put that right there. Um, let's put this over here. Let's see. Hi, Will. Um, go, uh, wait, wait, that's like, that's important, sort of. Let me, I'm, I'm just making sure, all right, like, I gotta clean this up. Give me, give me a sec. <laughs> Text me if you want, Will. Okay, I got this, all right. Here we go, all right. 
So this is the non-fun part. This is the safety part where I have to make sure that everything is kept in a nice orderly fashion of baggies, uh, oil, and is very safe away from any water that could get in here um, so that the sodium doesn't oxidize um, and uh, it doesn't explode. <laughs> so safety is number one priority here. If it's not safe, we won't do it. Cool. All right, we do have some other explosives though. So get, get ready. There we go. Okay. That's good. All right, sodium metal is now there, and we shall put it back into the box right here where it came from with the packing peanuts and seal it away until probably a couple months from now when I inevitably use it in the middle of a lake. <laughs> Whew. All right, cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, whew. anyways, um, I don't know if you can see this, but like the water exploded like everywhere. It's actually on the camera right now. So that's what happened when it blew. It was Japu and, and just water. <laughs> it just water. So, um, okay. So we have a couple other things to do. Um, let me check on the bismuth really quick. Uh, cause that's our long-term project. And then we will do elephant's toothpaste probably next. If I can manage it. Okay, bismuth is going well, cooling down, which is nice in a nice slow fashion. So we might get some really nice crystals out of it. Um, elephant's toothpaste. What I need to do is I need to get some warm water to start, um, making the yeast rise. So here we go. So the way this works, right? The way this works, actually, you know what? I want to do some fun stuff first. <laughs> Before we do elephant's toothpaste, um, which takes some effort, let's do something that doesn't take effort. Let's do something that doesn't take at least as much effort. <laughs> and uh, it's, um, I don't know if you guys see this. These are Mentos. And uh, I got some Diet Coke right here, <laughs> right? So we'll do that. Uh, let me, yeah. I'm also glad I have these goggles because there's so, there's definitely sodium on these goggles. Remember guys, safety is the number one priority. Okay. Put this right over here. So you guys can see it. Okay. It's, it's like, oh, it's like oily water too. Cause it mixed. Oh my God. Okay. So let's, we're, we're going to do some fun exp uh, um, experiments because, uh, you're like, oh, hey, you know, you have one Diet Coke bottle. What are you going to do? You're going to pour it in here, right? Ha, I have two bottles. <laughs> oh, so we're going to, we're going to explode one. Then we're going to put, we're going to do this. So there we go. Got to vent this out first. So we're going to try it right here in an open container just to compare the two. Okay. Oh, that's a B. Hello, B. Goodbye, B. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here. All right, let's not make it carbonate. Let's do it like the classy people do it. Here we go, classy. Classy Diet Coke. Sorry, I didn't pour it with my pinky out. Let me just like, let me just, you know, pinkies guys, pinkies. That's a bee. <laughs> like literally there's a bee like right around my setup right now. It's just flying around. <laughs> Can someone clip the bee? <laughs> okay, here we go. How many, how many Mentos should we put in guys? What do you guys think? How many Mentos should we put in? Also rip my, my webcam. I mean, uh, you know, let's wrap up this night and all too. I want to make sure I have a clean workspace. All right. Okay. Right. Bismuth is, is going to be ready in the next 10 or so minutes to start taking out some crystals. So get ready. We're going to do bismuth after this. 
Why is the bee like, it's literally like, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like right around the setup. It's like landed many times on my webcam. Ugh, it's like hovering. <laughs> okay, please leave. Like bees are cool. Like you keep pollinating and making the world live, but please don't do it near me. Oh, it's still there. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill the bee, okay? There's no way, I'm, there's not a thing, okay? There's, there's, not many bees as there is already, all right? It's little, okay, it's literally like right next to my setup. It's like right behind you, like. It is behind the setup. I don't know if you can see that. Can you guys see the bee? I don't know if you can. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, it's literally just, it's just hovering right there. It's just, it just is. It, I don't know why, it just really likes the setup. All right, all right, whatever. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy being live, B. God, I have a stream sniper in the form of an insect. God damn it. All right, um, all right, let's continue on. Um, okay, how many, Mento, how many Mentos should I put in, guys? How many Mentos should I put in? It's the government they're spying. I want to see some numbers. Three? I see three. I see a lot of threes. Three or four? Okay, we'll put four in. Actually, let's do three. Let's do three to start with. Hello, camera. I might need to get a new webcam after this. Fine. Here we go. Three Mentos in an open container of Diet Coke. That was a close one, guys. Whoo! That was close, I can't believe, oh my god. Wow, that almost exploded. No way! <laughs> that was so close. Yeah, you can, can you guys see the bee now? Oh my god. Yeah, you see the Mentos right there? All right, that was a dud. That was so cool. Oh my god. Crow, are you okay? That looks so dangerous. I know guys. I know safety first though. Remember safety first. It's important. Okay. Here we go. That was all as planned. Oh my god. Oh my god. The bismuth is about to be ready guys. Oh my god. Okay. I'm so excited. B stop. I see you, okay? Stop stream sniping me, B. Yes, you. God fucking damn it. All right. <laughs> oh, are you guys ready? <laughs> Let's do, let's do like two, cause I know I can like do this, you know? <laughs> that was about to hit you guys. <laughs> Oh my god. I just want to see if two more do anything. I don't think it will. Yeah, just carbonating. It's There's no gas. You guys want to do it again? <laughs> you guys want to do it again? We have another, like, I have another. 
Let me, um, where the hell did the cap go? Oh. It's like way over here. Use four? Yeah, I'll use more. I'll put more. I want to start with two just to start off. Um, let me uh, check on this bismuth. Got to do it really fast because this, oh, oh, we got a crystal, guys. We got a crystal. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a crystal. Okay. Here we go. Right? I don't know if you guys can see that, right? Well, when I move it, right, there's this one part that doesn't move with the rest of them. Ah, uh, that one didn't then do so well, but we'll take it. We'll take it. No, it's not the best crystal, but it works. It's, it's all right, it's all right. Take a look at some more. Uh, the sides are closing in more than I thought they would. And it's not too good. All right, we'll wait a little bit longer and then we might pour out the rest. All right. A little chip, it's gonna turn, you can see it turning color, I think. I don't feel like, it's not focusing well, but like, I can actually see it turning color as, it, as it's going right now. It's about to be a little bit of a yellow blue. Oh, the bee is on me. Guys, the bee landed on me. All right, we're good. There it is, it, it moved, okay. Yeah, look. Should I name the bee Oliver? Why are you here still? <laughs> Why? There is nothing for you here. <laughs> oh my God, all right, but that's the first bismuth crystal. Um, it's a pretty shitty one, not gonna lie. I'll show you guys a good one uh, if this doesn't go through well. Come on. Let me see if I can like chunk one out. No. Oh, it's not good either. All right. Oh, 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 there's another one forming right here. Do you guys see it? There's another one forming right here. I don't know if you guys, could you guys see that or not? Like, could you guys see it or not? What do you guys think? Yeah, you could? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, we'll let this one simmer for a bit, right? Because it just started, right? You can see, you can actually see crystals in it, like forming, like right here. It's cooling, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know what? I, th I think I know the problem here. It's cooling too fast. I think it's cooling too fast. That's why we're not getting some good crystals. All right, we'll wait a hot second longer. Oh. Yeah, this is bismuth crystals. Really cool. They're really cool. It's like probably my favorite thing, you know? Um, we can look at the, uh, the crystals we have right now. Let me actually make this bigger so you guys can see it. I wish I had like, I could change this on command, but I can't. Yeah, so you see this right here? These are the crystals that we just got. They're not the best ones, right? You can see like, you can see the cuboid structure, sort of, but they're really not great because the cubes aren't like, like inherently there. They're not giant, you know? So, um, take a look over here again. See how it's phasing. Wanna get some good ones. It's still there. That, ch that giant chunk is still there. You guys can, I, hopefully you guys can see that still. A giant chunk is still there. So I wanna make sure it doesn't get attached to the bottom uh, part of the plate. All right. Here we go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, let's see. We have, I, I think I have like two more experiments. I wanna do elephant's toothpaste and some Diet Coke and Mentos um, after we get this uh, bismuth crystal stuff situated. Um, we're gonna, I'm waiting cause like it's very specific on like how we can do this. Like, it, like it's very time dependent. Because, yeah, it, it, it is, like, trust me, it's very time dependent here. Um, if we don't do it right and it fuses to the bottom, then we've lost our crystal. Uh, if it fuses to the side, we've also lost our crystal. Uh, 
All right, keep it there, keep it there. Should we pull it out now or should we wait a little bit longer? What do you guys think? I'll leave it up to you guys. Should we wait a little bit longer or pull it out now? Oh, I gotta pull it out now, actually. That was a bad, yeah, I gotta do it. There's, I, like, if I don't pull it out now, it's gonna fuse. Please be nice, please be good. It's okay. It's very mediocre. Damn it. I'll let, I'll let cool. Damn it. Okay, cool. Whatever. Um, let's do something really fast. Invasive maneuvers. So I can like make sure we can still savor some of this. Give me a hot second. Let's do some metallurgy. Let's do some forging right now while we have, while we can. Okay. Ugh. Come on, stay. Cool, okay. Let me get my other glove for safety. Okay, I wanna pour this out. Oh, okay, that works, that works. I'll take it, I'll take it. You guys will see it in a second. Oh, that's so cool. All right, first off, that's blue. That's blue right there. And this is purple, right? You see, it, there's a dependence on how well, how fast it cools for how, how uh, the color turns up and it oxidizes like this, right? You can see it changing as it's going right now. Like straight up, you can just see it changing color. Right now it's a, it's a light blue, right? It's because the, the way um, oxygen attacks, uh, attaches to the bismuth, okay, bismuth oxide, right? Um, it changes color the, the more uh, or less oxygen uh, comes onto the surface, which then reflects, like, reflects light differently. Um, I don't think I can, it's solidified already somewhat. We can maybe pull out like one or two crystals from here, but they're not gonna be big. But this is me trying to save the, uh, the pour. Let me show you guys something really cool too, is, uh, is this. Can you see inside right there? That's, uh, that's a pretty large cube. Uh, I'll see if I can like pull it out later. Um, we'll, we'll do it, um, later, but yeah, it's a pretty large cube right there. So, um, here's the, uh, rainbowed pride medal. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just full rainbow now. Uh, you got some red in the middle, some pink on the sides. Um, you got a little bit of yellow, um, a little bit of green on the, the edges and then some blue. So, um, yeah, so as you can see, What's really interesting is that this part right here um, is is covered with some other uh, hydrocarbons, right? Which is is slag, right? So you get the the, the solid uh, silver. And then you can see right here is that it's all pure bismuth now reacted with the oxygen in the air, which makes it colored. So you can actually see a nice uh, stark contrast. And because this part actually cooled slower than like the inside right here cooled slower than all the others, um, it was able to form uh, a cube in a correct crystal structure because the atoms were able to arrange in the preferred state. So, let me see if I can like, oh, it's already salt. Oh, it's already solidified. Damn. Yeah, like, yeah. At this point, we're just messing with it. There's no real, oh, there's a crystal under here. By the way, this is very hot. Yeah, this is at 500. 25 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit right now. So I gotta be very careful as I wear Vans right next to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not getting any crystals from this. It's it's too fast cooling right now. Like it's cooling way too fast. I mean, we'll check up on it later, but um, I think we'll just leave it there for now. Yeah. So there you go. That's uh, 
liquefied, that's liquefied bismuth. Bismuth metal. Whew. And let's uh, let's tear this apart now. See if we uh, have any crystals we have uh, we could save. It wasn't the best pour, wasn't the best melt, because uh, um, it, it definitely 100% just uh, um, cooled way too fast. But uh, we'll 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 definitely see if we can uh, salvage that cube right there. Because it's really awesome about bismuth, really awesome, is that you can straight up just cut it with garden shears. It's very ductile. It's not very strong. Hardness is very like it doesn't have a good like a, a very high hardness. So you can just cut it with shears. You can just cut it with scissors, actually, if you really want. Um, it's, it's really cool that way. Um, let me check on the actual heat right here. Yeah. All right. All right, I, pretty, I think that pretty much confirms it. We're not getting a good pour out of that, but we'll, uh, we'll take it. We'll take it, definitely. Cool. Apologies, there's also a party happening next door. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, and I might have to turn up the, uh, yet again, the exposure. Hello. Hi. Um, there. Because the lights aren't doing it so hot. Same with this, uh, this other camera. Scuffed. Scuffed part one million. All right, that might be better. Cool. This is why I started to stream early because uh, because I wanted to make sure we had enough daylight so I won't have to do that like constantly. The sun's going down and it's going to like, turn black really soon. So we got we to gotta do these really fast. All right, cool. It's all the way cooled down now. Perfect. So I can just handle it with um, my hands. Probably not going to test it. There's a little bit of heat here. But uh, yeah, look at that. So what I can probably do is if I do this, right? I wish uh, I should have brought my tripod but I can just like cut through the metal right here. Like if I just put in my shears, right? And just cut, you can see I'm making incisions through here. You can see that, right? Like right, right here. So you can just cut with garden shears and move and move it. It's really nice, but it's, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So I might have to do it with two. So can you hear the metal cutting? Yeah, really? No way. That's so cool. All right, the um, fire's going down, which is nice. So let's uh, cut this like this. I have the gloves on for safety just in case. Nah, all right, that's a terrible, terrible piece. But you see that right here? It's blue. It's This is just really, re it's a deep blue metal. Deep blue right there. So it's not good because we didn't get any, get any good uh, stuff. Here, here's uh, some examples of like what you can get right here. You see, there's a, there's some rectangles right here on one of that we did pour out. Um, this one's kind of yellow, right? This one's yellow. So, um, that's pretty cool, you know. Um, this is not. These aren't good ones though. Um, definitely not good ones. I don't think there's any. Yeah. I think the only good thing that we got from this is that one um, chunk of um, cube. So let me see if I can like pour, like take out that cube really quick, and then uh, then we'll move on. So let me just like cut it out really fast if I can. So guys, thank you so much for the subs. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. Sorry I can't see everyone's. I'll be going through them later today, um, later tonight. I uh, like I do. There was some. There was some guy who who. Donated like $30 off stream. And so whoever you are, if you're in stream right now, I want to say thank you. Um, I do see that stuff. So it's really appreciated. Seriously, it means a lot. It's not unnoticed. No. Let's go, yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if I can actually take it out because like I might ruin it. Um, I already have some like really good crystals, but let me just try to take out the cube itself. So. There we go. Yeah, I broke the cube. Yeah, cube's, cube's gone. Oh well. But you can see some pieces of it right here. 
Let me take this off really fast. Yeah. Ooh, wow, that's sharp. Damn, I didn't cut that right. But yeah, you can see kind of a little bit of a, something like that right there. Let me uh, let me go get some of the actual like, you know, really good examples of bismuth crystal. I'll be right back. All right, give me like five seconds. Cool, we're back. Okay, awesome. So, um, I got some examples of some previous, some previous uh, um, batches of uh, bismuth that were actually really good. This is my favorite one personally, right here, right? As you can see, it has every single color of the rainbow on it. I showed this a little bit on stream, um, but yeah, you can get stuff like this straight up. Another one right here uh, really exemplifies the cube that you can get from the structure, right there. So, this is uh, bismuth crystals. Really cool. Um, I have a. It's it's a lot easier to do it if you have an oven, um, or some sort of like convection. Like you can don't do it in the microwave. No, <laughs> but I mean like if you have like some sort of like outdoor grill, uh, and you just turn that on. It's really really easy. Really a lot like a lot faster um, than some very variable um, <laughs> fire, okay? So uh, I just wanted to do the, the fire thing because I thought it'd be pretty cool. Um, but uh, definitely would recommend uh, doing this. I have like my own little setup back at my uh, my parents' place, but yeah, definitely, definitely that. So uh, let's do some elephant's toothpaste. And uh, yeah, all right, so let me get some warm water. Um, we'll need that for to make the yeast rise for about five minutes or so. So let's uh, let's get that going. So let me uh, let me do this. I'll mute the mic again when I uh, get back. So let's. Oh God! Oh no! I wonder what just happened. All right, let's let's uh let's do this. Give me a sec. Cool, all right, we're back. We're back, here we go. Here we go, cool. All right, um, yeast, right. So I have to put some yeast in here. Um, and I'll explain how this works in a hot second. All right, I'll explain how this works. This is really cool. Um, if you guys don't know what elephant's toothpaste is. So essentially, we're gonna be dealing with some hydrogen peroxide here. Um, basically, you know, stuff that you uh, put on a wound to disinfect it and all that. Hydrogen peroxide. Um, we're going to have some soap. So I just got some Dawn fucking soap. Um, and um, where's my yeast? There it is. All right. And I got some yeast. So basically what happens is that if you take hydrogen peroxide, right? If you take hydrogen peroxide um, and just leave it out. So let's, uh, let's do this. The stains closed, so if you don't want your clothes to be stained, then don't do this. But let's put some hydrogen peroxide in here. Ooh. 
What's cool about hydrogen peroxide is that it actually decays. Decay is probably the wrong word, but it it, it reacts and uh, wants to disassociate itself. So what's really cool is that if you just leave hydrogen peroxide out, just like in a field somewhere, then it will just transfer and be water. So hydrogen peroxide reacts with itself, it's just nothing, right? It just decomposes into um, H2O and hydrogen gas, right? So H2O2 um, goes to H2O and H2, you can balance it yourself. Um, but yes, so that's what that is. Um, so you can't drink this currently, but if you left it out long enough, then uh, it, it'll become water and you can drink it. I do not recommend that. <laughs> do not try that. Um, but that is a thing that can happen. Um, so we're going to put about um, that much hydrogen peroxide. We're going to put a lot of soap in here. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, um, yeah. So basically, that's what happens, right? So if you just leave it out, it becomes hydrogen um, uh, water and hydrogen gas. So if you put in soap, right, like this Dawn soap, what happens is that it actually keeps in all the hydrogen gas and the um, H, uh, H2O, right? So then when, uh, when it tries to escape, then it'll actually be kept in by that soap because the soap will bind to it. Um, and this, this will happen over a course of a, a long time, right? Um, but you can do a catalyst, right? Such as potassium iodide, which I currently don't have, um, but you can also just do it with regular yeast. Potassium iodide makes the um, reaction go a lot faster, but uh, yeast works as well. So if we want to do that, now let me get some, oh, well, shit. I guess we're using this one. So I have warm water right here. We're gonna put yeast. Back of the yeast here. Um, let me stir it with this random fork that I have. It smells yeasty, literally, because it's yeast. Go live. Uh, I might put a second packet in too. We'll see how it works. Um, but I want the yeast to rise for like five minutes or so, right? There we go. You guys think I should put a second packet in? What's up, Maya? Yeah, you guys think I should put a second packet in real quick? Yeah, okay. We'll do a second. Oh, it's rising. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Um, and then we'll put the soap in. I don't have to, I don't need to have gloves for this. I don't know why I have my gloves on. Um, this is very safe. <laughs> um, it's just yeast and water. <laughs> um, what I need gloves for was for the bismuth uh, crystals and for the sodium reaction. Um, but I don't need it for anything else. Oh my God, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs, Mia. Is it Maya? God, I, I forgot. Um, thank you so much for the, the 10 gifted subs. Appreciate that a lot. Oh my God. Oh my Lordy. Thank you. I don't, I just, um, I'll make this extra explosive for you in the best way. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Um, okay, so we're taking some yeast right here, right? Um, wait, does anyone actually have the clip of the sodium? I kind of want that later. Like, I want the, I want to see that when we exploded sodium. Does anyone have that clip? <laughs> so we're going to wait for, like, I, think, I think it's still warm water, right? It's still warm. It's all right. So the yeast is reacting right now. Perfect. Yeah, I can see it rising a little bit. Cool. There it is. Science. Perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, there are a few. Okay. Um, all right, I'll take a look at that afterwards. So we have hydrogen peroxide right here and we have yeast, which is rising. We're gonna wait for like two to three minutes after this. And basically the yeast is a catalyst for the H2O2. So the H2O2, it transfers to um, water and hydrogen gas. And uh, the catalyst, yeast, will make it happen a lot, lot faster, like basically instantaneously. And so we're gonna pour soap in. So rather than just like fizzle out, it's gonna be, it's gonna keep here and we're gonna do this, right? So I need to put about half as much soap as there is hydrogen peroxide. Measurements, perfect. And then we gotta mix it together. <laughs> it's already kind of happening with the uh, yeast left left to go. Here we go. 
Is oxygen gas not hydrogen gas? H2O2. It is oxygen gas, not hydrogen. You're right. Uh, trying to balance it myself in my head. H2O2 to H2O. Is it oxygen? I could be wrong. Thanks, Leo. Appreciate that. 2H2O2 to H2O and O2? Okay, then it is O2. All right, I'm saying it wrong then. Thanks for correcting me. I appreciate that a lot. Um, and it was one of the two. Put some more hydrogen peroxide in there. I don't think I had enough. All right, here we go. So the yeast is basically risen <laughs> as it is, you know? Um, so let's do this, right? So let me like... Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Everything is fine. We're all good. I just stained my hands. We're good. Perfect. Okay. Ha! We're all good. Wait, can you see me if I this? All right, cool. Um, yes. So, let me see if I can pour the yeast in here so we can just do like a really quick pour. All right? The yeast has risen, quite literally. Yeah. So I know you guys can't see this when it's happening, but let me uh, pour it into the, this cup. Cool. <laughs> we got some forbidden snacks here. So would you, would you guys mind a nice helping of um, blue Kool-Aid and uh, some lightly chocolate milk? <laughs> that kind of looks good, I'm not going to lie. It kind of does look good. All right, let me, let me clear off the table really quick. Um, and we'll all be good. Safety first, guys. Safety first. But, like, seriously, though, like, if you're, if you're doing this, like, genuinely, I cannot say it enough. Please be safe when you do it. Um, this won't harm you. It really won't harm you. But just in general, please be safe. All right, it's just like a word of warning. I know how to do this. I've done this before, etc. Okay, disclaimer that I have to put because people are dumb. Oh yeah, move all this business stuff off. Cool. Um, how's the lighting on the camera? Is it a little dark? It might be a little bit dark. I might have to take it up a little bit. Let me move these uh this these packets. You know, it's dark, it's a tad dark. Okay, let me do that again. Ooh, hello, hi. Um, that means we have, to, we have to get this out fast because uh, I only have so much exposure left to, to change. The lighting's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Cool. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little fuzzy now. Okay, and then the other webcam. Hello? Configure? Hello, other webcam. Can you please? Oh, it's already up. OK. Um, exposure down a little bit, like two notches. Cool. All right. That's a little bit better. We got to do this quick, because uh, we're, losing, we're losing daylight, guys. We're losing daylight. OK. Here we go. Gotta clean this off again still. Probably should have done this right after the bismuth experiment. But just want to make sure that everything is A-OK -okay for us to experiment with. All right, here we go. Um, the FYI, though, the little disclaimer about this, and this is a very highly exothermic reaction, because obviously it's going very fast, and it wants to go to the state, um, right? Because like hydrogen peroxide wants to go to water in O2. Um, so when you do this, don't touch it until it s cools down, <laughs> all right? It's going to be very hot. So let me put uh, this over here. Um, and we should be A-OK -okay to go. Let's put it over here. Cool. All right. You guys ready? You guys ready? Hopefully this works unlike last time, where it didn't. Okay.
Ta da! <laughs> it, that's the that's elephants. It's it's not gonna. There's, it's. It's not as much as the the sodium, but it exists, guys. <laughs> It's just all, yeah, it's literally like, it's, it's hot. It's very hot. <laughs> Rip towel? I wasn't going to use it anyways. But yes, ta-da! We have, we have mixed blue Kool-Aid chocolate milk to create a banana smoothie. Isn't it amazing, guys? <laughs> all right, to end it all off, we'll do some more diet. We'll do one more Diet Coke, all right? We'll do one more Diet Coke and Mentos, and then, uh, and then that'll be it. Still hot? It's not hot. Okay, cool. Oh, it's soaked through the towel. All right, I'm going to have to clean off the backyard. <laughs> Bring back the sodium, please. No. <laughs> no, no. Um, I'm worried that my, my uh, neighbors will be like, oh, someone's, um, Give me the extra inch, someone's shooting something. No, Thank I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Safety, guys. Safety. Doesn't even look like an elephant. What the fuck? I know, right? Crazy. All right. Uh, I'll clean that up after stream. Um, we will now do the last Coke and Mentos to end this off. All right? So just to recap everything we did today, right? If you're stopping by for the first time, um, before we do this, before we do this, um, um, thank you guys for just being awesome. Um, thank you guys so much for all the gift subs, you know, etc., um, and all the just regular subs and, and all the bits. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, just thank you guys so much. Um, and yeah, so what we did today was really cool. Um, this was a sub goal that we reached, so I, I try to put everything into the sub goals. Keep like literally like I brought my my whole setup out here. Like this is <laughs> that's you guys. Right there, that's you. I brought my entire setup outside, outdoors, just so we could do this. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Shouts to NZXT right there. Quality computer, Xwish NZXT. Um, but uh, yeah, um, <laughs> if you guys like this, we'll end it with a bang of uh, of Give me the extra inch of this. <laughs> so here we go. I need it. Um, yeah, this is a sub goal we reach. I try to put like all the effort I can into um, into streams. So um, yeah, we'll put in four this time. I don't know what else to say. If you guys haven't followed the stream yet, feel free to keep following. Um, and uh, or if you haven't followed the stream, then, then feel free to follow. This will be up on YouTube as well. And I'll probably be submitting this to my professor um, for a project. So um, here we go. So we'll do four. The whole pack? I don't know if I can do the whole pack. I don't know if I can like literally fit it in. Can I? Can I do all of it? I don't know if I can like literally put all of them in. Not with that attitude? All right, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm trying to like open it up so all of them can like fall out. Oh, oh, I can do all of them. Oh my god. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's do something special for this last one. Um, let me move the table and we'll do it right here. All right? Let's do that. <laughs> Just to end it with a good a, a bang, basically. All right? Because why not? Let me just take my box of chemicals, <laughs> put it over here. Um,. Put some of these other Mentos, fucking, I don't know, like over here. Um, and uh, glass we don't need. Um, we'll want this later. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then that's cooled down by now. <laughs> it's cursed. It looks so good. I want to drink it, but don't. But it looks so good. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool.
<laughs> okay, cool. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, where is my Diet Coke? Right here. Uh, my Mentos. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay. Here we go. Just pour them all in. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Boom! Wow, look at that explosion! Boom! <laughs> Whoa, it keeps going! No way! <laughs> what an end to the scuffed backyard stream. <laughs> Alright, well this is... Yeah. <laughs> so scuffed. <laughs> so scuffed. Well... That happened. High five, little me. Oh, wait, I gotta. Wait, can I do a high five to myself? No, I, got, I gotta go over here. No, I, I can't. I can't reach that far. All right. Anyways, anyways, um, guys, thank you so much for, for stopping by. I know it's a shorter stream. I, uh, I do realize it's only been like, what, two hours? A little bit, uh, almost two hours. I know it's a shorter stream, but this took a lot of effort to put into, um, especially. Um, Acquiring, I literally, I bought sodium on eBay. That's a, a Monka S moment. Um, but uh, yeah, I put a lot of effort into this. Um, so um, I had to acquire like all this stuff. I, I bought like a lav mic. Um, I had to put all my setup outdoors. So a um, lot of fun, really cool. Um, if you guys aren't following the stream, then follow the stream. Um, say hi to YouTube. If you're, if you're on YouTube, then subscribe. I guess. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, um, on Friday, what we're going to be doing is Twitch plays Pokemon. Well, Twitch plays Pokemon Emerald, except um, <laughs> we're only Twitch plays Pokemon Emerald, except like every five minutes I control the game. And it's also a Nuzlocke. So whenever a Pokemon dies, it's dead for good. Um, so if you guys don't know what Twitch, uh, Twitch plays Pokemon is, um, that's fun. I, I wrote a program to, to do it every five minutes. So. Um, Hopefully, uh, hopefully you like. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, fi we'll, we'll figure it out. That's on Friday. At, um, and if you're new here, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 4 p.m. on Sundays. Um, this was just a little fun one-off. We do a lot of really fun stuff here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited for how this went. I can't wait to see my own VOD because I, I couldn't see like half the stuff I was doing. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, the, the music stopped too, so that's kind of a... Uh, you know, you guys, uh, you guys like jazz. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna end it here. I don't want to end because, like, yeah. But uh, I have stuff to do. So, um, thanks for stopping by, guys. Love all of you. Um, and we're, I'm, I would give a raid, but um, that's too much effort for me to like attempt to do right now. Um, so I'll see you guys on on Friday. All right. Bye, guys.